Hey, what's going on everyone? John the Video Guy here. And in today's short video tutorial, I'm gonna go over what to do with GoPro footage, specifically time lapses, where you might get a bunch of photos. How do you turn them into a video time lapse inside Premiere Pro? So let's get started. So I'm inside Premiere Pro. We're gonna import those photos. So I'll double click. I have this folder. I just took a simple time lapse of a sunset last night. So we have I record one photo every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, it captured one frame. So if I open up one in the source monitor, you can see these are individual photos. So the first step here, we're gonna take all of our images and make a sequence out of them. So in the project panel, we're gonna select all of them and drag them into the timeline panel. Drop them, and there they are. Now by default, they're all five seconds long. So what we're gonna to have to do is select all of them and make them one frame long. So in the timeline window, zoom out, marquee select all of them, right click, go to speed and duration, and change the duration to one frame. Make sure that ripple edit shifting trailing clips is selected. Click okay. now we can see that each photo is one frame. So if we play this back, we can now see we have a time lapse. So this is great, but you know, we made a sequence based off of the image file. And I like to do this because it keeps the original resolution of the images. But how do we use this in a normal video? So what I like to do is keep this as its own sequence, but say if you're working in another video project, make a new sequence and then nest this time-lapse sequence into that new sequence. I'll show you what I mean here. So we're gonna rename this sequence GoPro time-lapse. Then we're gonna make a new sequence, and this will be our project sequence. So say if this is your preset, we'll click OK. And what you can do is drag this GoPro time-lapse into this project sequence. Click Keep Existing Settings. That way you have the full resolution of the GoPro footage inside your project. And you can go to Effects Controls, scale it down appropriately into your new sequence. That way you can work with the GoPro time-lapse in full resolution inside your new project sequence. So now as you can see as I click play, it's scaled down into a video aspect ratio into a 1920 by 1080 sequence. So that's how I like to do it. Um, other key points, since it's nested, you have more ability to stretch it or to make it shorter or longer. So what I like to do, say if you wanna, you can trim the beginning to make it start quicker. And then if you need it longer, what you can do is use the rate stretch tool, which is a short, shortcut R, and you can click and drag this out if you want it longer. Now just keep in mind, Basically what's happening is each photo is now maybe three to four frames instead of one frame. So basically it's the same exact photo over more frames. And same thing if you want this long or shorter, you can click it, drag it and make it shorter. So it happens really quick. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can use those photos, turn it into a video sequence, and then use it in a another sequence or another project. Now you can, going back to the GoPro time-lapse, you can just export this straight out of Premiere as a video. And you can kind of keep it, the video settings the way they are, export it and then import it and use it in another project or to send it to someone. But if you want it to look normal in a normal aspect ratio, I would suggest doing this and then exporting it 
out and then you can see it's a 1920 by 1080 sequence. So whichever way you want to work with it, um, that's how I usually use GoPro footage in my projects. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.